dear student welcome to another lecture in this lecture we will be going to draw shear force and bend over diagram for a beam which is simply supported and having overhang on both sides as well as it is loaded with udl and two point loads as you can see in this diagram and a moment is also applied at some section which is shown as c so let us uh, understand the diagram more clearly so abcd is the beam and it is simply supported between b and d which is having a length of 9 meter and uh, concentrated load or point load are applied at ends a and end e as shown in the diagram and the simply supported span bd is loaded with uniformly distributed load having intensity of 35 kN meter and along with all these loads one moment is acting at c section c which is shown in the diagram which is having intensity 150 kN meter so now first of all we have to calculate the support reactions so support reaction we can take rb at support b and rd at support d we can write here rb as well as here rd so to solve these type of numerical problem as similar to the previous problems we have to first of all consider this beam is under condition of a static equilibrium so that we can apply the equations of a static equilibrium so first of all uh, what we have to do we have to apply the condition summation of fy is equal to 0 sum of all the forces acting in vertical direction that is equal to 0 and moment sum of the moment about any support which is simple support support b or d is equal to 0 so first of all let us calculate summation of f y is equal to 0 so downward forces will be taken as negative and upward forces will be taken as positive so minus 52 plus r b is positive and uh, in total load due to this udl which is on a length 9 meter so that will be 35 into 9 since it is acting vertically downward so we are taking it negative then the reaction rd will be taken as positive and the concentrated load acting at e downward it is taken as negative minus 36 so based on this uh, equation and solving we can get this equation a that is rb plus rd is equal to 403 kN. now next equation we can develop by taking summation of movement of all the forces about support b which is a simple support equal to 0 so taking clockwise movement positive and anti-clockwise movement as negative so first of all let us start from a at a concentrated load is 52 it is acting downward so it will be giving a moment anti-clockwise about the support b <coughs> so we have taken minus 52 into distance is 3 meter from b minus 52 into 3 then we can calculate movement due to the udl so whole udl will be converted into a force 35 into 9 and it will be giving a clockwise movement so we have taken here positive value and uh, the total load due to udl will be acting at the mid of the span on which it is acting it is acting on 9 meter so we have taken it as a 4.5 so this is the movement due to the udl and plus 150 since it is acting clockwise this is the movement which is given in the diagram then rd reaction will be applying the anti-clockwise movement so it is taken as rd into 9 negative and uh, 36 kN load which is acting at a distance 6 plus 3 plus 3 that means 12 meter from b so it is multiplied by 36 into 12 so ultimately by solving we can easily get the value of a reaction at support d that is 204.83 kN and the solving both the equations we can get rb also so rb comes out to be 198.17 kN and rd comes out to be 204.83 kN so this, this is the way how we can uh, show the reactions and uh, let, let us raise it so this is the reaction rb and uh, reaction rd which are shown in the diagram 198.17 kN and 204.83 kN so here we have to make one correction 
uh, here this is R D. So R B and R D. Now again uh, make we make this correction here also. So first of all in this equation that is step number two we have to calculate the shear force. So we have to develop the shear force equation and the very first step is we are taking the sections and uh, we can take the section between ED then DC then CB and then BA. So four sections we have to take to get the calculation for the shear force. So let us take a section at a distance x as usual we take from free end E. So this section is shown here xx which is at a distance x from free end. And now uh, I have uh, just uh, uh, covered this much portion. So we are covering on the portion which is beyond D. So why we are taking it because this section xx is only valid between E and D. So we are not taking all this value. Uh, so this is covered for the purpose to understand it more clearly or you can say it is just like a free body diagram. Now first point is between portion E and D how to calculate. So we have to calculate the shear force only single force is acting 36 kN. So we have taken Fx is equal to 36. Since there is a no, not any variable associated with this equation. So it is a constant value. So we can say it is a vertical line at E having uh, magnitude 36 kilonewton and then constant up to D because as in the previous lecture we have discussed since no load is acting on DE portion so it will be a straight line parallel to the uh, beam axis. So shear force at E will be 36 kilonewton as well as shear force at D which is you can say just right of the D we take that is also 36 kilometer and uh, also I have mentioned here since no loading exists between the portion DE so shear force diagram will be line parallel to the beam axis now we can easily draw the diagram so this is the 36 kilonewton shear force which is positive so we have uh, drawn a line vertical line above the reference line that means vertically above the reference line and uh, again it will be remaining up to 36 up to D. Now next we have to take the section between D and C where C is the point where movement is acting. So this is the way how we can take the section and uh, we can easily calculate the shear force that is some of the all the forces beyond this section. So it is 36 is acting downward so as per sign convention this will be positive and 204.83 again and this will be D so 2043.83 we have taken it as negative value and only this much portion between section XX and support D that UDL will be acting and it will be uh, taken into consideration so that is 35 into X minus 3 now from this equation it is very much clear that shear force equation between E and D will be a linear equation. So linear equation so shear force diagram will be a straight line diagram. Now we can calculate shear force at D that is putting x is equal to 3 meter. So it comes out to be minus 168.383 kN and the shear force at C which will be at a distance 6 meter from E so it comes out to be minus 63.83 kN so again since no loading exists on portion DE shear force diagram will be a line parallel to the beam axis as we have already discussed and we have also shown here now here if you see the shear force is moving from plus 36 to minus 168.3 so we have taken a point below the reference line at uh, at a magnitude of minus 168.83 and then shear force at C we have calculated that is minus 63.83 so this will be minus 63.83 so this uh, why this way for each section we can calculate the shear force and we can draw the shear force diagram now next section we have to take in between the C and B. 
So this is the section which we have taken from E at a distance x and we can easily develop the equation for shear force and now up to this you are very well aware that 36 is concentrated load minus 204.83 the reaction at D and the load due to this UDL which we have to take into consideration 35 into x minus 3. Now this equation is valid between D and uh, C and B that we will be between C and B. So linear equation again because x raised to power is 1 shear force diagram will be a straight line and the shear force just at a left of C you can take where putting x is equal to 6 in this equation so we are getting minus 63.83 kN and the shear force at just right of B where x will be 12 meter so putting x equal to 12 in this equation we can get plus 146.17 kN and just left of B if you consider then every uh, other equation will remain same but only uh, this reaction RV will come into picture that is 198.17 so that's why we have taken here 198.17 so it comes out to be minus 52 kN so it is very much clear that shear force at A is equal to minus 52 kN and shear force at B and A will be straight line parallel to the x axis because at A only 52 kN is acting so shear force at A is minus 52 shear force at B is also minus 52 and which will be uh, again changing uh, at, between the B and C so by this way you can easily draw the diagram so we have calculated shear force at B 146 so we have taken a point here plus 146.17 after that shear force at B is minus 52 so we have to take this line into consideration we can draw the line up to minus 52 and after that it is a it is a straight line minus 52 and ultimately this whole diagram is the shear force diagram when it is loaded beam is loaded with concentrated load UTL as well as a movement now next is we have to draw the bending moment equation now here please uh, uh, make this correction this is rd and uh, for bending moment equation again sign convention you are well aware that sagging moment will be taken as positive and hogging bending moment will be taken as negative and uh, taking a section as we have shown here section at a distance x from e that is we are considering now when we consider portion ed that is the portion ed of the beam so it is very much clear and uh, you can calculate with very simple equation bending movement at section xx will be equal to 36 into x since it is giving a hogging movement so we have taken as negative so minus 36 into x and x raised to power 1 again linear equation and uh, then the bending movement at E you can calculate by putting x equal to 0 so bending movement at and A will be 0 and uh, this equation is valid between E and D so bending moment D we can calculate when x is equal to 3 meter so when we put x equal to 3 meter we get bending moment minus 108 kN meter and we can very simple diagram that is it start from 0 and it end at minus 108 kN meter now next is we have to take the section between D and C so this is the section between D and C we have taken and uh, we have to develop the bending moment equation at that section so bending moment at the equation we can easily develop by 36 into x since it is giving a hogging moment and uh, 20483 it will be giving a sagging moment so we have taken it as positive 204.83 into x minus 3 and uh, next is UDL and this UDL is giving a bending moment that is hogging bending moment so it will create a hogging shape so minus 35 into x minus 3 square by 2 and this equation is valid up to C just uh, or better to say just the right side of the C 
because when we consider left side OC, then this 150 kilo Newton meter uh, movement will also come into practice. So it is again the second degree equation when we solve it, it is a parabolic type of curve and bending moment at D where x is equal to 3 minus 108 kilo Newton meter. When you put x equal to 3 here in this equation, you will get minus 108 kilo Newton meter. And at just right of C, when I have told you that now easily this C point is or the section C is at a distance 6 meter from E. So when you put x equal to 6 in this equation, you will get positive bending moment that is 241.241 kilo Newton meter. Now, if the bending moment is just left of C, then I already discussed that 150 will come into practice. So now moment 150 kilo Newton meter will also be taken into calculation. So here earlier it was 241, now it minus 150 because it will be giving a hogging type of moment. So plus 91 kilo Newton meter will be the movement, bending movement just left of C. So this is the way uh, again we can see, we can draw the diagram which will start from here and it is reaching up to 241 and after that it is uh, moving to plus 91 so dropping to plus 91 so up to this up to c portion of the beam we have uh, drawn the bending moment diagram now in between you can see between c and d somewhere bending moment is getting zero so we have to locate that point and it is very simple by equating this equation equal to 0 we are getting the value of x equal to 3.69 meter from e so this will be the location of the point which is known as contraflexure point where bending moment is 0 and it is changing its sign from negative to positive or positive to negative so 3.69 meter is the location of this particular point where bending moment is crossing the line now next is portion under consideration is c from C to B so we can take a section between C to B and accordingly we can develop the equation bending moment equation is developed and uh, that is 36 into x again plus 204.83 into x minus 3 and uh, then UDL minus 35 into x minus 3 square by 2 and minus 150 so parabolic curve then bending moment at C again it is plus 91 which we have already calculated also and uh, just uh, right of b we can put the value x is equal to 12 because it is at a distance of 12 meter so when you put 12 then you are getting the value of bending moment minus 156 kilo newton meter and uh, it is very much clear from if you take into consideration portion a b you can take a section between a and b and it is clear that bending moment at uh, section A will be 0 and uh, bending moment section B will be 52 into 3 that is minus 156 kilo Newton meter minus because it is giving a hogging moment and uh, similarly uh, we have to calculate the point where bending moment becomes 0 so from this diagram you are able to understand now see here bending moment is moving from plus 91 to minus 156 so somewhere again it is crossing the reference line it means bending moment at some another location is also zero which is known as point of contraflexure and that point we can calculate by equating uh, this bending moment equation equal to zero and uh, when we equate equal to zero then we are getting the value of uh, that distance from e to this uh, point of contraflexure that is 10.74 meter which we can show like this so this is the whole solution of the problem where we have drawn shear force equation shear force diagram then bending moment equation we have created and bending moment diagram we have drawn and next we will be going to solve this numerical later on thank you